What's up everyone, Exus is here with another quick tutorial on how to complete survival mode. I know a lot of you are probably itching to get online and play some matches so I'll make this quick. I'm pretty sure no one will have problems with the easy and normal modes. It's simple enough for even newcomers to complete. So let's skip right to the hard and hell modes. For the purpose of this video, I'll be showing the hard difficulty. What you're basically going to want to do is maximize your score in the first 10 or so rounds and then take a smooth ride to the end. Because the first few rounds start off extremely easy, you can double down a few times and take a few risks by halving your HP or maxing your stun gauge but I'd highly recommend not to do this in the later stages because you never know, you might just have a bad round and lose on stage 80 and get nothing. So here's what I recommend. Right from the get go, push the computer right into the corner and then keep on jumping and doing your most damaging combos. Don't let off. And even if the computer blocks, don't be afraid of a counter attack. Even on hell mode, the CPU is no way as punishing as an actual player so you don't have to worry about whiffed or blocked attacks. Just keep putting the pressure on with your most damaging combos. You don't have to worry about repeating the same combo over and over because I don't think that affects your score. Now we need to focus on getting you the highest score possible. Try to always get the first hit, aim for perfects and if possible try to finish the round with an EX. The best possible scenario would probably be a round where you get the first hit and score a perfect by ending the round with a critical art. Don't worry about always ending with a finisher, a regular EX will give you more than enough points. By following the above method, you will definitely have more than enough score to buy HP recovery at the end of every stage, if needed. And that is how you complete survival mode on hard and hell, by keeping your HP as full as possible. Don't worry so much about the other items as they are not necessary. If you're at max HP and have more than enough score, then go ahead and purchase the attack power boost to end the rounds quicker because that's another way to earn an even higher score. I think too many people are focusing on trying to get the highest score possible overall when that's not important at all. The main focus is to complete survival mode because you unlock fight money, experience points and additional character colors regardless of what your final score is. So keep away from double down options unless you're supremely confident. There's no need to be halving your HP because trust me, you will have that one bad round where you'll end up with very low HP and then you'll think to yourself, I'm fine, I'll just buy the medium high or full recovery item and then you're given the low HP recovery. Trust me, it happens more than you think. The CPU also tends to get more aggressive and block more in the later stages, so I would highly advise against unnecessary spending. If you want to maximize your chances of completing survival mode in one smooth run, keep your score for the HP recovery items. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful, let me know how you're finding survival mode below, don't forget to like my shit and I'll see you in my next video.